hi guys and welcome to another video in today's video i want to share with you how i got a teaching job in the middle east stay tuned <music> The big question is, did you use a recruitment agency? Yes, I did. I actually used direct teachers recruitment specialists that can be found on Facebook. I registered with them and I completed the registration process, everything with direct teachers recruitment specialists. So when you go on direct teachers recruitment specialists page on Facebook, there is a link that will take you directly to their website page. And once you go on that page, it will ask you to complete a registration form. What you would do at the beginning is that you will complete your full name, your subject area and email address and send your CV. Next step is somebody from the agency will get in contact with you now this person is the person that is going to be working with you right throughout the process until you are successful with a job this person will ask you to send them a telephone number in which they can contact you directly outside of email after you provide them with a the telephone number, that person is going to call you and you're going to have a conversation with them. What is this conversation about? This conversation is just to verify that the information that you did provide on the registration form is indeed correct. After you have verified the information, he will now say to you, that you need to provide a copy of your passport, your qualifications, and a police clearance certificate. If you do not have these documents immediately, go ahead and submit the ones you have. Because for instance, in my case, I had just completed my degree program, and so I did not have my degree certificate in hand but i was teaching prior to completing my degree and so i had enough years experience but when you are applying for an overseas job they require that you have experience after you have completed your degree program so what i did i said to him i do not have my degree now but i have successfully completed my program I have my transcript, I have a copy of my passport front page, I do not have a police clearance certificate in my possession. He said, no problem, just provide me with what you have and get the others as soon as possible. I also explained to him that I will not be getting my certificate for my degree until in January the following year. So I made it clear to him and I said to him that I am going to go ahead and apply for the police certificate in my own country. I did that. That process um, took me maybe four weeks, four to six weeks to get my police certificate. And I reached out back to him and I said, hey, I have my police certificate. What's next? He went ahead and said to me that, when do I want to leave? I said to him, seeing that I do not have my degree in my possession, I am looking um to leave in september he said okay sure no problem which countries are you interested in teaching you know i'm like dubai um and he's like okay you want to go to the middle east um you want to go to kuwait or any other country apart from dubai i said okay sure because at the time i was really clueless i didn't have a clue as to what i wanted to do and so when he provided me with those countries name i said okay sure and he said okay then we are going to send you some emails each time we have a job available and 
you are just going to reply to the email yes you are interested yes you are interested and we will forward your cv to the schools that you have replied that you're interested in if you have problems with writing your cv then that's no problem because direct teachers recruitment specialists will help to provide you with the number one CV in the world that you need to secure your job in the Middle East. So no need to worry. Okay guys, you heard me right. Step two. Now a school reach out to Direct and say they're interested in you. So Direct now will get in contact with you and they will say a school reach out to them and say they're interested in you and now they need to prep you for the interview. Direct will send some questions to you and say, go through these questions and see how best you can answer these questions. And two days before your scheduled interview with your school, Direct will call you. Somebody from Direct, the same person that you've been working with, will get in contact with you and they will do a phone interview with you just to see if you are ready. If there's anything that needs to be fixed, Direct is going to go through the questions with you and you're going to say, okay, do not answer the question like this. Go ahead and provide more details to this question. Okay, you are providing too much information to this question. Direct will ensure that you are ready for your interview. They will prep you, prep you, prep you so much like it's the real actual interview that you're going to do. And after the prep you will have your interview with the school in two days now it is your job to go ahead and to impress these people that you're going to have the interview with sell yourself the best way possible and some of the questions that direct send you on the sheet sometimes they will ask you those questions sometimes they will not it is not a must that they will ask you those questions provided by direct but these are just some questions to help you prepare for the interview it is your responsibility to sell yourself to this school okay you are now successful in completing your interview and the school decide that hey i want to hire this girl i want to hire this boy what will happen is that they will reach out to direct and say congratulations to this person they are successful in the job after that somebody from the school will send you your congratulation information and the next steps that you need to do remember you're working in and with direct and also with the school so direct will ask you to provide two references go ahead and provide at least one person that is your line manager it will be very useful for you so try to make sure from now that you make friends with those persons that are above you and are in charge of you it will be useful you are now finish step three step four is the part where you will now be given the contract and you have to sign it please make sure that you read 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 the contract thoroughly if there's any questions that you have please to ask questions before signing the contract after you've signed a contract there's some documents that you will need to provide to the school your qualifications need to be attested in your own country now, for those persons who live in Jamaica, there is no embassy for the Middle East that is in Jamaica. So what you have to do is to get your documents attested by the Ministry of Education office. And then you will have to go to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. After you've gone to Ministry of Foreign Affairs, what you will now need to do is to send these documents to your school and inform them that there is no embassy for the Middle East in your own country and you will have the documents attested as soon as possible, as soon as you land in the Middle East. They already know that there is no embassy in Jamaica, so you just have to inform them. Some schools like my school, 
my school it was actually the first time that they were getting somebody from jamaica so i had to go ahead and explain to them that there's no embassy for the middle east in jamaica and so i'm unable to get my documents attested by the middle east embassy or i was coming to the uae so i say to them that there are no uae embassy in my own country if there's a UAE embassy in your own country, you will need to get your documents attested there. And for Jamaicans, once you get the documents attested at Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you will take those documents and once you reach to the UAE, you will take them to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to get those documents attested and then you will provide your school with the copies. Once you attest your document, once for the Middle East or for the UAE, you no longer need to attest those documents again. So if you're going to a new school, you will always have the original copy of the documents that was attested. And so you can always reuse them again. That's a good thing. And after you've provided these documents, you once you get to the Middle East, you will be required to do a medical yes so make sure that you have everything ready the big question is do i have to use a recruitment agency company my answer to that question is no you do not have to what you can do is that you can go ahead and go on google type in schools in the middle east you will see a lot of different schools pop up on your search engine and all you have to do is to click on the schools that you're interested in and just send them your CV. Even if there is no vacancy, go ahead and send your CV. You never know when a vacancy will be open and you have an opportunity of getting a job. And next advice to persons who are looking at a job in the Middle East. Go ahead and start the process now. For me, I used a recruitment agency and that took me roughly six months. The process took me roughly six months. I know of persons who did not use a recruitment agency and they went directly through their schools and it actually took them like a month because once the schools have vacancy, they're going to reach out to you and they're going to want to do an interview with you, which the interview will be done on Skype. And so once they have a vacancy and they reach out to you and they have completed your interview, the, the process is very, very smooth sailing after that and it will not take any time for you to get you. So go ahead and try your luck. You can opt to use a recruitment agency. You can opt not to use. The choice is all yours.